In this video, we will continue solving two-step equations with fractions. Our first example is n minus 6 divided by 2 equals 8. Now, there are a couple ways of solving this, but I'm going to get rid of my fractions because I personally don't like dealing with fractions, and if I can get rid of them right away, then that kind of works best for me. But you have to ultimately pick which works best for you. So let's try it and showing you how you can get rid of fractions. Well, I'm going to look at my denominator here, and I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by my least common denominator. Here in this case, it's just two because there's one fraction, but if there's more than one fraction in the equation, I am going to find the least common denominator between those two, um, those two denominators. So here we go with the next step. I'm going to go what's 2 times n is 2n. And I'm going to divide that by 2. And I'm going to be using distributive property. And so now I'm going to multiply 2 by the next term in the numerator. And I see that it's a negative 6. So 2 times a negative 6 is a negative 12. And we're going to divide that by 2 equals and then 8 times 2 on the right-hand side is 16. Now I could have had this over 1. It doesn't change its values, but it keeps it all the terms being fractions. You might say, well, you told us that we're getting rid of fractions. Well, we kind of have to, if we want to skip this step, we would go 2 times n is 2n divided by 2 gives me n. I could do some mental math here with this step. But other than that, um, just continue on and just to simplify so we don't make some mistakes. So negative 12 divided by 2 is a negative 6 is equal to 16. Now I'm going to see to isolate the variable n, I'm going to add the inverse of a negative 6, which is a positive 6. And so I will have n. This cancels out, or this equals 0. So n equals 16 plus 6 is 22. And so my answer is n equals 22. But let's just double check my result by rewriting the equation. I'm going to put a parenthesis wherever I see a variable divided by 2 equals 8. So here we go. I'm going to put 22 in here. Now 22 minus 6, that gives me 16 divided by 2 equals 8. Bringing my 8 down on the right-hand side. 16 divided by 2 is 8 equals 8, and that checks. Awesome job. Let's have one more for practice. Let's get rid of this problem and let's rewrite the next problem it's going to be 5 plus variable s divided by 8 equals 5. all right so in this problem i am going to multiply both sides by 8 over 1. we've got 5 over 1 and multiply the left hand side by 8 over 1 and then we're going to use our distributive property so 8 times 5 is 40 over 8 and then 8 times a positive s is 8s so we're going to have a positive 8s over 8 equals 40. So let's go ahead and simplify. 40 divided by 8 is 5 plus 8 divided by 8 is just the variable s over 40. Now let's go ahead and do the inverse operations. I'm going to add a negative 5 because this is a positive 5 right here. So I'm going to add a negative 5 to both sides. Therefore, this gives me 0. And my final answer will be S equals 30.
5. Because 40 minus 5 is 35. Let's go ahead and check our work. We're going to check our work by plugging in 35, our solution, into the original problem. Divide it all by 8. And that would give me 5 right here. So if I plug in a 35, I'm going to ask myself 5 plus 35 is 40 divided by 8. Does that equal 5? And it sure does. So 5 will equal to 5. And I will show that my answer is correct. I don't need to have anxiety. I don't need to stress because I know when I check my work, I can confirm that it is correct and I have the correct answer. So remember when you are learning how to solve two-step equations with fractions, you'll need to make sure you isolate your variable. And if you have a fraction in this your equation, you're going to multiply by the lowest common denominator to both sides of the equation to get rid of the fractions so you can do a simple one or two step equation right there at the end. And most importantly, don't forget to check your work.